hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's been a hot minute like it's been so long i haven't filmed in like ages because life is a little bit crazy right now as i have predicted it you know i've got a newborn he's nearly four months two days he's gonna be four months and i've got my toddler of course she's nearly three and um and also i've got uni yes i'm doing um, a master's in mental health and nursing and in it has been a lot it has been a handful um it's been crazy like i can't even explain it um the thing is when you have a when you're like an immigrant i, I don't really consider my, myself as an immigrant i wasn't forced to leave my country i just it was my choice of course i was doing another degree so i wanted to come here i come from a big family like we are nine kids like my dad has another eight uh, my parents um yeah we, we are nine in total so i wanted my own freedom my independence you know because i never really enjoyed like privacy and you know all that so i decided to leave my country i decided to leave cyprus which is a lovely country a lovely little island sunny you know we don't take life too serious we just enjoy ourselves really <clears throat> and it's mostly sunny not like here in london is you know the weather is shit but you know you already know uh, well i guess if you like the rain it's not shit for you but shit for me um but the thing is in cyprus when it rains we love it because we don't get that often and also i don't know that the the ground it smells like rain you know here you don't get that smell you know that rain smell that uh, it's just magical when it happens in cyprus and then you hear the the thunder actually boom 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 like you know you can actually hear it but here you rarely hear that it's weird so yes yeah, so it's to be honest in cyprus is it's like a rare phenomenon you know to be raining but you know and we need the rain because most of the time is summer and we lack uh, sometimes we run out of water isn't it so yeah but anyway as i was saying you know moving to a new country uh your family i mean i have my, not my family that i have now but you know my parents my siblings are all back home so i'm here by myself with my husband which he also doesn't have much family in this country so it's not easy like he, he gets lonely it's just me and him most of the time but he's working now i'm i'm off you know um i'm on maternity leave until may so i'm home most of the time with the kids and it can be challenging like there are times that i just wish that i wake up and i'm just by myself like i know it sounds selfish and horrible and i'm a horrible mother blah 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 but sometimes i just want my peace like i just want a peaceful day like seriously like i don't want to care for no one and it makes you miss your old life like you know when you didn't have any of that you could wake up anytime you can just go just to grab a coffee it's a whole mission and i hate it I guess my treat is my you know when I go to grab a coffee that's my that's my day out for me you know that's my literally that's my day out the lighting is better here but yeah um it's just it's a mission like you don't have anyone to just you know grab a coffee for you and come and visit you and to visit someone is a whole mission as well you know and it's it's I'm not gonna lie being a mom it can be lonely I've always dreamed of I've always dreamed of becoming a mom but 
I think I was ignorant, naive. I didn't know the real difficulties that come with it. But because I always thought that I would stay in Cyprus and be a mom there, you know, I came here and it's a whole different thing. It's just you and your kids the whole day. That's it. Sometimes you don't interact with anyone. And, and yeah, it feels lonely and uh, isolating uh, to go somewhere with your friends it's just you have to plan it you have to see if your partner can stay home or you need to pay for childcare and all that kind of things now that i'm going to uni sometimes I have to pay childcare and things like that and it can be it can drain you mentally financially and all that um so yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, I knew what was coming. Um, studying is not easy. Um, now I have to study because I've got exams in January. And I also need to write like a project. I've got another project. Okay, I'm gonna give you more, okay? Just give me one sec. You don't want your orange, look, orange. You want apple? Yes, apple. Okay. She, she wants apple. She loves apple. Oh, she's scared. It's the only fruit that she eats. Um. Yeah, having a toddler, I think is the worst. Like, <laughs> maybe it's just, or maybe it's just my daughter. I don't know, but I. I'm struggling a lot with uh, my toddler at the moment so yeah I don't blame people that don't want to have kids because it's a real hard job okay um, brother says that it's not a big deal it's not a big job especially when sometimes I feel like yes okay sometimes I feel that I'm not cut out to be a mom like even though I love my kids like don't get me wrong I love my kids like I would die for them and all that but you know some moms they will be playing with their kids all day long they don't mind the mess they don't mind this I cannot stand mess I cannot sometimes I just go insane like literally I'm not gonna lie like I can get very like um I can't go crazy like it's just I don't have I feel like I don't have patience something inside me is like chicken it's like chickering when I see mess or my daughter throwing a tantrum or both kids are crying as you know when both kids are crying I just I can't deal with it like I don't know maybe it's just me or maybe more people experience that but Sometimes I don't have the patience, you know, and I feel bad, I feel guilty, and all that. And I've got a husband that if I leave my kids with him, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even worry because he knows how to look after the kids and everything. Like, they went to Ghana like a month ago, and I was able to go on placement, you know, for my uni. And I didn't have to worry about him looking after them because he knows how to look after the kids and everything. But not everyone has that, you know. Not everyone has a husband that is supportive like that. But he might be supportive in other ways, doesn't matter. People are good in different things. So don't judge like your husband. If your husband can't look after the kids for long, don't judge him like Maybe that's what he can do. Maybe he's good at other things. Maybe he, you know, he keeps the, the place tidy or he helps you with other things or or whatever it is. So don't be too harsh on your husband as well. Because women, we can be very harsh on men as well. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, they have their own stress that they go through. Um, you know men have other things to worry about so we shouldn't 
get too absorbed into our own problems as well and worries and sometimes women we worry too much about things that are not important so sometimes we need to learn to relax because the life I'm complaining that I have like the fact that I'm a mom and I get exhausted and I know that some women they will kill to be moms and they can't be moms and it's sad for them and they will see me and be oh you are a great good bitch or something like that you know and I get that I acknowledge that well, there's so much shit going on in this world right now and me sitting here complaining about how hard it is to be a mom yeah I sound ungrateful sometimes and I'm not gonna lie I am ungrateful sometimes you know but I'm able to recognize that and just fix up because you know we are working progress anyway but yeah this is where I'm at there has, there has been so many things happening this year in 2023 um, I want this year to go and never come back like obviously there are so many blessings that happened to me in 2023 I gave birth to my son you know so many good things uh, I got into uni I'm able to study what I wanted to study and I can't wait to finish now yeah it's two years of course so I can't wait um obviously I'm so happy for all my blessings I'm th so thankful to God but um I'm just looking forward to a better year ahead and the best thing I wish is peace in my mind you know I just want a peaceful mind I get so worried all the time I'm overthinking all the time um, yeah and that's what I'm trying to achieve to be a bit more chilled less stressed less more you know free more stress free I just want peace of mind and it's so hard you know sometimes um, especially when things happen in your life that are not pleasant obviously so that can't really uh, shake you and disturb your peace so that's what I'm praying for this year coming I want peace and um, I want to be able to be more calm about things uh, and um, not get so crazy with my kids because I feel bad I feel guilty when I get crazy and and all that but just one message I want to pass to whoever you know if you're a mom and you are struggling and you think that you cannot do it or you want to do something and you feel that you're struggling I know it's hard but you can do anything you set your mind to like if it's something positive obviously you know if God you know put a vision in you like if you have a dream that's God you know putting that vision into you and he wants to pursue it he wants you to pursue it so he will do anything to help you achieve what you want to achieve because it's going to be beneficial for the world for others for the people around you so so yeah just keep the faith and things will work out god will help god will find a way uh, another thing that i need to do is to have more faith because my faith has been shaken up maybe a little bit this year but this is what i need to do i need to be more faithful i need to trust in god a bit more um do you like my nails i'm doing it myself you know um i know they're not perfect but and it like, takes so long for me to do my nails but but yeah because um, it's too expensive now life is expensive so i just do my nails by myself i enjoy it um anyway as i was saying keep the faith be more faithful you and me as well and we can do anything you know and uh, as long as as it's something good i'm not saying go and do only fans no 
I feel sad for these people that want to go and pursue OnlyFans and this kind of things. It's just sad, you know. Just do something good, like and your money in a moral way like you don't need anyway it's another i don't know i'm just ranting but yeah just keep the faith and also have a support system around you if you have friends um husband whoever i mean you have a supportive husband that's mainly what you need in your life you know you have a supportive partner that's the most important thing you should know um, because he's gonna stick with you hopefully until your old age and all that so yeah just keep uh, the good people around you have a support system um, and you can do it it's gonna be okay especially in this country in the UK there's so many opportunities so you know make use of that of the opportunities that you have we there are so many endless opportunities here i did a degree and i'm doing another one now and i'm able to do that here um so it's possible you can just take advantage of the possibilities that you have and do something with your life don't just sit there and be depressed and lazy and all that you know just do something good and that's the message i've got for you for today I just wanted to film this video it was just a random video it's nothing like crazy but um just give you a bit of encouragement and i understand if you're a mom i know how difficult it is but we can do it there are much more difficult things in the world you know so many people are dying right now and it's crazy so be thankful for your life for your kids lives for the opportunities that you have and and yeah we can do it probably i won't post another video before the new year so happy new year have a merry christmas and i'll see you maybe i'll see you maybe i don't because i need to study and i'm gonna be very busy and i'm gonna go back to place in january so yeah maybe i won't see you so if you don't see you send you my love my positivity happy new year merry christmas and we can do it Bye.